Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed about water pollution as well, so it is time to discuss about solid wastes. We also saw that solid wastes is another important threat or another important environmental issue. So how solid wastes interfere with the uh, normal functioning of our environment? We will see that a little later. So what do we mean by solid waste disposal? Now even before we talk about disposal of solid wastes, we should know what exactly are solid wastes, which type of wastes fall under the category of solid wastes. So solid wastes are the everyday items discarded by public that goes to trash. In fact, in each of our houses, we daily dispose the dustbins. Right now, what do the dustbins consist of? What is there inside the dustbin of your house? There are many things like paper, vegetable waste, waste clothes, packets, plastic bags, bottles, etc. So, these kind of things are there in the dustbins of our houses, and such wastes together form the solid wastes. So, here we are going to talk about how properly should we handle the disposal of solid wastes and what could happen by improper disposal of solid wastes. So solid wastes are often also called as garbage in simple terms. So what causes the accumulation of solid wastes? Why do we have solid wastes at our home? So just, just think of the following components which form the solid waste. So whenever we talk about solid wastes, it consists of a lot of domestic wastes. What kind of domestic wastes? Domestic wastes like kitchen, sewage, unnecessary things. So they all together form the domestic waste. That means the wastes which come out from from house from house of people. So where families stay. So from those kind of houses, these wastes come out. Now what do you generally have in the kitchen waste? It contains the vegetable waste, maybe uneaten food, milk packets, rotten pulses, fruits, vegetables. So sewage, unnecessary things, they form domestic wastes. Industrial waste. So what kind of waste do we get from the industries or factories? Ashes, rubber, leather, paper wastes. So some of the wastes coming out of industries. Ashes, coal, paper, rubber wastes. Community waste. Community wastes are those which come which which comes out of the community places. For example, wastes from offices, hospitals, shops, like syringes, cotton, plastic, materials. Uh, papers etc so these kind of wastes fall under the category of community wastes so which comes out of shopping malls or offices or hospitals because it is not only one particular family which contributes to this waste In, instead it is the entire community who contribute to this kind of waste agricultural waste husk, straw, fibers. So these are the wastes which come from the agricultural fields. So these all form the agricultural waste. And finally, electronic wastes like the electronic items. For example, broken computer, a broken phone, any electronic item which cannot be repaired further. So these kind of electronic items are also thrown out and they form electronic wastes or which is also called as e-wastes. So this is also called e-wastes. So these are the various categories of uh, categories of wastes which together form the solid wastes. So now we have to see how proper, proper disposal of solid wastes need to be done. Now what happens to these solid wastes? So normally what happens? How do we dispose them and then after we dispose them what happens after that? So normally municipality collects and disposes the municipal solid waste. So you would have seen that all of you keep your dustbins ready. Now when a big van comes from the municipality to collect the wastes in your locality, all the houses in that area, they keep their dustbins outside and then, they, and then the dustbins are emptied into the vans 
which came from the municipality and then municipality collects the uh, wastes from all the houses in your locality and then it disposes the municipal solid waste. Now, where do the municipality dispose the solid waste? So, it collected all the wastes from the, your entire locality. But then where did, we, where did it dispose it of? So, there are many options or there are many different possibilities that could have happened. Open burning dumps. Maybe it would have taken the entire dump of solid waste. It would have kept it somewhere and then just burnt it in open. So that is one option that the municipality could have done. Another option is sanitary landfills. So there are landfills that is there are in, in the, on the land itself there are some a, a region is dug out and there and then in that region the entire solid waste is dumped there. So that is another option sanitary landfill. So what basically is done in a sanitary landfill is a depression is created in the land and then the wastes are dumped into the depression and it is covered with dirt every day. So as you can see here, so this truck contains all the dust particles. So here you can see it, uh, a depression has been created. So everything is being dumped here and this will get covered with dirt every day. So gradually it will tend to move down under the soil and that is how it will the dirt will remain there and gradually over a period of time they might undergo decomposition and might get broken down into simpler forms however only the organic material will get or the biodegradable substances will get degraded into their simplest forms but those which are non biodegradable for example plastics they will they will remain as it is so this is another uh, way by which municipality can dispose the solid waste however sanitary landfills is preferred over the open burning dumps because the, the reason is in case of open burning dumps, when the dump is being burnt, it causes air pollution because the uh, smoke which comes out of it, it, can say it again contains a lot of uh, undesirable particles or gases and that is how it causes air pollution. So that is why sanitary landfills are preferred over open burning dumps. However, these also are not much useful. Neither of these turns out to be useful. Why? Because the sanitary landfills, the number of landfills are becoming insufficient when compared to the amount of waste. Because as the population of human beings are increasing, the amount of waste is also increasing. Now, when compared to the amount of waste, the number of landfills that are present are lesser now. So that is one disadvantage. Another disadvantage is danger of seepage. There are chances now since everything is getting inside the soil. So there are chances that some chemicals or some harmful substances might seep out and thus can pollute the underground water. So these involves two disadvantages. One is pollute underground water due to because the chemicals or toxic substances might seep through the through in between the soil and thus it can pollute the underground water so it can pollute underground water that is one disadvantage and the other disadvantage is insufficient landfills when compared to the amount of wastes so insufficient number of landfills so this is how normally solid wastes are handled by municipality. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.